Hello and welcome to this video on a detailed installation for repaints of the Aerosoft Airbus Extended. Um, this tutorial, uh, as far as flight simulation programs go, is going to be for... Um, excuse me, that was my phone turning off there. Um, this is going to be for Flight Simulator X Steam Edition, Flight Simulator X, and P3D. Today we're using P3D, so if you have a different program, the other two that I just mentioned, you can continue watching this video. No worries, you're not doing anything wrong. The only difference that there might be is that the paths to our Airbus X in general, um, they're going to vary, definitely, depending on which program you're using. So, first and foremost, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Nick. I'm 15 years old. I'm from the USA. Um, I'm an avid user of most flight simulation programs. I just recently upgraded to P3D yesterday, and after, you know, being in the simulators for almost six and a half years, I'm going to say with just a day's time, literally 24 hours, I mean, it's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me in terms of simulators and everything like that. Um, excuse me, just cracking my knuckles. A little uncomfortable. Um, yeah, the frames is just, it's incredible. I think P3D is more, more or less geared towards the higher end systems, if you will. Um, I mean, like, I'll, I'll give an example. There are certain sceneries with Flight Simulator X Steam Edition that I would get anywhere between 4 and 10 frames per second, and with P3D, I'm getting anywhere between 30 and 40 frames, which is stellar for me. It's beyond satisfactory. As long as it's smooth, I could really care less. Before we proceed any further into this video, um, I'd like to apologize for the three other people, um, three other family members, should I say, in my house. Not that they're doing anything, but just for future reference, if something does happen. Um, I don't know if you've heard it already, because I definitely have. My bedroom is located on the bottom level of my house, and my brother is playing hockey right in front of it. So you probably will hear some sort of clapping or scratching. Um, so that's that, if you guys are wondering. Um, my mom, if only you guys could smell the meatloaf she is making right now, it is incredible. Um, so actually, no, no apologies there. Um, that's, that's actually something I wish I could share with all of you. And my stepdad just got a new iPhone, so he's been calling me up and down the stairs all day long, but I think that settled down about an hour ago, so hopefully we don't have any interruptions. This should be a really quick video. Okay, without further ado, let's start. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to Airsoft Forums or wherever and download your livery, extract it to your desktop. I recommend a WinRAR or 7-Zip program, which is uh, basically these programs are capable of taking a bunch of files and compressing it into one thing, which is what you'd want or else you'd have 6 million different things downloading. There's quite a few things in this file. It's a little intimidating, but it's okay. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I think I mentioned which programs this tutorial is working for. Um, we're installing an Airbus A320 today, but if you want to install an A318, A319, A320, or A321, you can use this video because the installation process is exactly the same for each and every one of them. So, once you have your download, you can extract it to your desktop, and we can go ahead and open up our file explorer. And I know that there's an install, there's a livery installer program for um, Airbus X, but I, I, there's been problems with it. I've had a lot of problems with it. It's just, it's not as reliable as doing it the manual way, unfortunately. Um, so we're in our file explorer. You'll want to click on this PC or wherever your C drive or D drive, wherever your main hard drive is located. You'll click on that, and if you're using... Microsoft Flight Simulator X, I think you'd do program files times 86, and then Microsoft Flight Simulator X would be in here. Um, if you're using Microsoft Flight Simulator X Steam, you'll be in program files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, FSX, and then you'll go to Sim Objects, Airplanes, and then you have your Airsoft Airbuses here. But since we're using P3D today, we're going to go ahead and do this for P3D. So you'll go to your C drive, your program files times 86, find Lockheed Martin, Prepar 3D, and then whatever version it is, sim objects, airplanes, and now you're here. Um, 
So you're going to have to be really careful for this part. If you are installing an A320, A321, A318, A319, it should say the name of the engines next to it. I wish I could zoom in, but I can't. Uh, IAE or CFM. So if we look, I'll go ahead and do the rename option just so. We have our A320, and then we have here IAE. So basically what that, those are different types of engines, international aero engines, and then the other one, CFM, I don't know. Um, what you're going to want to do is if your file is named A320 IAE, you're going to want to drop all, whatever the files are in here into your A320 IAE folder. Now if it said CFM, you would drop it into your A320 CFM folder. So since this is an IAE, we're going to go ahead and click on our Aerosoft A320 IAE folder. And now we're in here, I have like six bajillion thousand different um, textures in here, um, but you, you know, it's okay. So now we're going to open up our download, and here we have um, a bunch of different options in here, and basically this is just going to basically go off of whether, you know, this is completely at your discretion, it's not going to change anything. You can use the clean or dirty version. I always tend to go with the clean version just because I'm in like kind of OCD like that, but I've come to notice with the dirt versions, it actually looks very realistic. So I think I already have it in here. I don't want to go ahead and replace it because then I'll have to replace the .cfg also. So what you're going to want to do is if depending on dirt or clean version, doesn't matter. We're going to use clean version for the sake of dirt version actually just for your guys' realism at its max. Um, you'll take the texture dot whatever airline it is, take it and simply drop it into your Aerosoft A320 IAE folder. Do not under any circumstances drop it into any of these texture dot what's because not only will it screw up that texture itself but you just won't get your texture. So you want to make sure that you drop it into the Aerosoft Airbus A320 IAE folder not any of these other things that say texture. Once that is done um, Something that I had a problem with a long time ago, I'm not sure if they fixed it. Um, something you're going to want to do once you have your file installed, you're going to want to go to any of your other default planes or any of your other planes that you've installed. Click on what it doesn't matter which one it is, it's not going to do anything, but you're going to want to click on one of them and go into the texture.cfg, copy and paste it, and then you're going to want to go over to your download, which ours was N465UA. So let me just find that. Oh, maybe we didn't install it. Okay. All right, we didn't install it, so that's good. Um. Okay. So oh, we did install it. Okay. So you're just gonna wanna drag and drop, um, cop, uh, paste the uh, texture.cfg into your download. Um, we have that there. Good. All right. Yes. I don't want to save it. Okay, th that's just because I already had it like that. You're going to want to go ahead and save it. Um, okay, you are not done yet. You're going to remain in your Aerosoft Airbus A320 IAE file, and you're going to click on the aircraft.cfg. And what this is going to allow us to do is this is going to allow us to paste the tile in. If you do not do this, it will not work, so don't think you can skip out and everything will be easy. Um, you're going to want to scroll down. Do you see these things that say Flight Sim? I have so many of them. You're going to want to scroll down to the very last one, and then underneath that should be like Airplane Geometry or something like that. Okay, so our last one is Flight Sim 46. So what you're going to want to do is go in between these two and make one, two, three. Enter three times. And then you're going to want to go back over to your download and go to the README this folder. It's usually in the Readmes. And then you're going to copy this tile. You're going to click Control C. And then you're going to go back over to your aircraft.cfg, go in, yeah, go in between, click Control V and paste it in. Um, then what you'll do is you'll see if you have any any more than one space, you're just going to want to bring it back one. And you have Flight Sim X. This is so important. Like I can't even tell you in the beginning when I started using this how much trouble I used to have because I used to forget about this X. What you have to do is delete that X and, and type in whichever numbers would follow whichever one you have in there. So we have 46, then we would put in Flight Sim 47. And so basically, that's how you install liveries. Um, you're going to want to close and save it. I'm not saving it because I already did that. Um, 
yeah, that's that's basically it. That's how you install these liveries. Um, please let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, let's be constructive and mature. If you didn't like the video, tell me why you didn't like it, and let me know in the comments what I can do to better your viewing experience for future reference. I want to thank you guys for stopping by today and watching this video. Um, please drop a like and leave a subscribe, or leave a like, drop a subscribe, whichever one. Um, it, it would mean a lot since this channel is very new. Um, there's going to be a few links in the description. I'm trying to think of what exactly I may put the download in there that we use the example. It's a nice United Airlines plane. Um, yeah, so that about wraps it up. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.